Hey everyone, Jack of All Trades here. Today, we're going to be talking about transistors, the tiny components that are the backbone of modern electronics. A transistor is a semiconductor device that can amplify or switch electronic signals. It is made up of three or more layers of semiconductor material, usually silicon or germanium. The layers are arranged in such a way that they can control the flow of electrons through the device. In a simple way, a transistor can be thought of as a very tiny switch. When a small amount of voltage is applied to one of the transistor's terminals, it can turn on or off a much larger flow of current between two other terminals. This ability to control a large current with a small voltage is what makes transistors so important in electronics. There are two main types of transistors, bipolar junction transistors, BJTs, and field effect transistors, FETs. BJTs use a small current to control a larger current, while FETs use an electric field to control the flow of current. Transistors have a wide range of applications, including Amplifiers, transistors, can be used to amplify weak signals, making them essential components in audio amplifiers, radio transmitters, and other devices that need to boost signal strength. Switches, transistors, can be used as electronic switches, turning circuits on or off. This ability makes them crucial components in digital circuits, such as those found in computers and microcontrollers. Voltage regulators, transistors, can be used to regulate voltage levels, ensuring that electronic circuits receive a consistent supply of power. Oscillators, transistors, can be used to generate electronic signals, making them essential components in oscillators, which are found in clocks, timers, and other devices that need to produce precise timing signals. Transistors are the building blocks of modern electronics. They are found in almost every electronic device we use today, from smartphones and computers to cars and airplanes. Without transistors, our modern world would be a very different place. That's all for today's video on transistors. I hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on electronics and DIY projects. Thanks for watching.